Alright guys, uh, how's it going? First things first, uh, if you haven't already, go get a copy of Young Heroes of Tyria from uh, Lion's Arch. That way you don't have to do this mission again if you ever want to do the book. Uh, the mission, or the Z mission for today is Borderless Pass. Uh, can be a difficult mission if you've never done it before. Uh, it runs the gambit, so just kind of throw your, your heroes and your henchmen. Um, spirit spamming for time's sake. Uh, Borless Pass, the mission itself, lasts probably about a half hour. So the video's really, really sped up this time. Um, you're going to be spending a lot of this mis mission holding one torch or another. So, another reason I'm spirit spamming is low energy use. Uh, you don't get the, the benefit of your, your offhand. Uh, another thing that uh, you may not be able to see is uh, the rangers use a spirit called Winter, which will take all of your your fire damage or your your magic DPS and make it so that it doesn't hurt them as much because it turns it all to cold damage and they have a resistance to cold damage. A couple of different ways to deal with that: um, you can either kill the spirit or you can try to pull them out of it. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, if you kill it, they'll just resummon it, but it gives you a chance to to kill them while they're trying to summon it. So just run up here, kill him. Uh, the first part of the mission is you're you're just lighting torches. Uh, the centaur healers are really really good at their job, so kill them first. It'll make things easier. And we run up here. Some loot. It's number th not number three, number four. And let's see if I can pull these guys. Oh, I failed. <laughs> um don't be me and, and fail at pulling. Uh especially uh on this map. Like, the, the centaurs are, in my opinion, unnaturally hard at this point. I'm not sure why. It could just be team build or personal build or my not elite awesomeness. Uh, but they're a little difficult to try not to overpull them. And give this guy the torch. And now we're fighting Stone Summit. Um, an important thing to keep in mind when you're doing this mission is the amount of conditions. Every single ranger in this map, Stone Summit and Centaur, inflict bleeding and cripple. Uh, the freaking beast masters, the, the Stone Summit things, riding those big animals that walk around on two legs, uh, those cause knockdown. Uh, the siege golems cause knockdown with, uh, with water trident. Keg, powder keg. Uh, so let's run back up here, kill these things. Uh, if you do the bonus, which I'm going to do, um, there's also a large amount of hexes. So this mission, like I said before, runs the gambit. Uh, it's a little bit of everything. Run up here, blow that door up. And kill these things. Uh, one thing you don't have to worry about is the bosses don't have elites at all. Um, not really sure why all the little all the non-boss people are running around elites, but the bosses don't have elites. Uh, one thing you may not be able to see because I, of uh, the speed of the video is the, the Doilac Masters, the healers, the things that run around on the, ride around on the big four-legged critters, um, have Mark of Protection, which is easily the most overpowered enchantment from the Protection line. Uh, it pretty much takes all of your damage and turns it into healing. Uh, so, enchantment removal, 
is the best way to do that. Uh, or you could just wait it out. You could interrupt it. There's a, a number of ways to get rid of it. Once it's on, if you didn't catch where he put it, uh, it's it's going to suck. Uh, that group has a warrior boss in it. And even though the warrior boss doesn't have an elite, he still hits like a truck. Uh, the the time that I ran this before what I'm recording right now, uh, he hit me for like 310 with a bull strike. I was like, ah, oh my god. And we just activate the bonus. Back here, got powder keg. Start the avalanche. <laughs> and here's where hex removal comes into play. Uh, the driders that I'm in the process of killing right now uh, have a lot of really nasty hexes. It can cause a lot of degen if you don't have enough hex removal. Uh, the one you have to be careful of is they have Defile Flesh, which reduces uh, the effectiveness of your healers. And they normally cover it with something else. So, uh, just try to not have that on everyone at the same time, or else your healers won't be able to heal. Okay, so the boss, the, the Frost Drake, which is the bonus, uh, is not really that difficult. He's a, a jack-of-all-trades Ellie, so he's really bad. Uh, the only real thing you have to worry about is he has Glyph of Concentration, which will stop you from interrupting a couple of his skills. And that's bonus, and we run back. Uh, in case you didn't notice, and I don't think I said it before, uh, the two henchmen I have are the fire henchman and the mesmer henchman. In case you were wondering. <laughs> uh, we come down here, and we kill more golems. And just the easiest way to, to deal with the doily like mess is just to kill him first. Or to uh to spike one of the other things in the group and let him try to protect it. Or let him cast mark protection on it and then just nuke him. Because mark protection deactivates all your protection skills for a set amount of time. And that's the easiest way to do it. Uh back through here. Kill the engineer. Uh, the engineers are, are very interesting. They won't attack you back. So you just kind of kill them. They don't do any damage. They won't attack melee. They won't do anything. They just kind of sit there and die. So. Okay. Run through here. Talk to Rurik. Start a cutscene, which I'm going to skip. And hey, look, I'm holding a torch again. <laughs> Okay, you're going to get a group of four dwarves at the end. Uh, try to keep them alive as much as possible. Uh, for every dwarf you keep alive, it's probably one time you're not going... Or it's probably one time that uh, one of your henchmen isn't going to die, because they're focused on the, uh, the dwarf. So, try to keep as many of them as alive as possible. Kill the healer, and then run over here and kill him. Ah, I lost a couple. Whatever. Alright. And try to pull him, which I'll probably fail because the doors just run in. Whatever. Uh, oh, I, I leveled. Awesome. Okay. Move on up here. Torches. There's three of them. It's not hard. They're all in circle. Uh, that was the last one. Light it. And congratulations, you've just completed Borla's Pass on hard mode. So, have at it.